Good morning, family, and welcome back or welcome to Lin Lin. Thank you guys for coming to check out the video today. It has been a little while since I have posted a video of me out and about doing grocery hauls or anything like that. It has been like two months, actually, a little over two months. Um, if you have been on my channel and been subscribed to my channel for a while, then you will see that I was doing grocery hauls, grocery videos, and then I kind of stopped for a little bit. Um, me and my husband had decided that we wanted to do um, a reaction channel, so I kind of switched my channel to doing reactions. But because my husband and I have such busy schedules and opposite schedules, us doing reaction videos did not work out the way we had planned because we were never really off around the same time or one of us was tired or whatever the case may be. So I decided that I'm going to get back into doing my grocery hauls for you guys and sharing my life and things like that. So um, with that being said, we all have heard about the ports closing and all that kind of crazy stuff that has been going on in the United States of America lately. Like it has been crazy with the floods. Um, I'm here in Oregon and one of our ports closed. So what I did see when the ports closed, I, I noticed that a bunch of people were going out and they were stockpiling stuff. They were going crazy shopping. The um, stores ended up being empty. Things were being taken off shelves, all kinds of stuff like that. And so I wanted to do a video showing you guys what I think you should be preparing for um, or actually what I think you guys should be buying in preparation for another pork, uh, another porch strike or any kind of end of the world shit hit the fan situation, anything like that. I want to show you guys exactly what you should be buying in the stores that will last and that will sustain your family. All right, guys, so I'm about to go into Winco this morning and I'm going to show you guys everything that I have for my family and the things that you should be getting. All right, let's go. So I'm walking into Winco. I don't have anything that I want to buy out of here today. I'm simply just going in here to give you guys an idea of what to buy. So when you're buying stuff for like shit hit the fan situations or anything like that, you don't want a bunch of produce or anything like that because that's all stuff that's going to go bad eventually. You want to mainly focus on things that are dry goods. So I'm going to go over to the dry goods section and I'm going to show you guys exactly what I have in my stockpile right now. So usually here in Winko, there's a lot more, but for some reason, this is all I see right now. So when 2020 hit, my husband went into um, stockpile and mode. And thankfully at the time I was receiving EBT and it was the summer where they were giving away like $2,000 um, when the kids were out of school. It was something crazy like that. And I think I had pretty much almost $2,000 a month um, in EBT for like three months. So these are the things that we started stocking up on. They've got these big bags, 25 pound bags of pinto beans. These are $19.48. You got black eyed peas right here for $42.28. This right here is some barley. This is 2118. Got some basmati rice down here. This one is 1478. Jasmine rice, 25 pound. This one is 2448. And that is not a bad deal for that one at all. You've also got some. This right here is some mayo beans. And these are the price is not on these bread lentils, some long grain brown rice long white rice, converted rice, black turtle beans. So guys, all this stuff right here is mainly the things that I stocked up on when 2020 hit and I needed to go into stock mode. I took all these bags right here. These are all 25 pound bags and I got multiple bags of these. I wanna say we got maybe 10 bags at a time. I'm not even sure how much that we got. But these right here are great for if you are in that situation and you need food for a long period of time, it is good to stock up on rice and beans. Then coming over here, you're going to get to your oatmeal. This right here is a 25 pound bag of oatmeal for $32.78. They have this five grain cereal for $23.28. 
This is also 25 pounds. These are all mostly 25 pounds. You got your regular old fashioned oats right here for 1668. Then you got quick oats for 1668. You got some corn grits, or this one right here is yellow corn polenta, 3188. And they got some hot cream wheat right here, farina cereal, $39.88, and then some cornmeal for $18.28. Now, I didn't stock up on cornmeal, but I did stock up on oatmeal. I did not stock up on grits or um, cream of wheat, but I definitely stocked up on oatmeal. Another thing that I stocked up for my family was pancake mix. I have a ton of these pancakes mix. These are $8.48 in here. I wanna say I got mine at Costco, but you can't go wrong with pancake mix. As long as you have water, you can cook pancake. Also, you're gonna need sweeteners. Now me and my family, we use maple syrup, but any kind of syrup you wanna use, you can use. Plenty of sweeteners here for you to sweeten your oatmeal with, your pancakes with. You can even put it in your rice if you want to. When you're stocking up on supplies, you want to avoid all kinds of stuff like this. Because if you're in a shit hit the fan situation, the last thing you're going to do is want this kind of food. You're going to want food that's going to last. And these pretty much will be gone pretty quick. The very most important thing that you're going to want to stock up on is water. I buy water like crazy every single day. I buy distilled water. Water will be your best friend because if you don't know, you cannot live three days without water. Now, if you're looking for meat, the best meat to stock up on or the best kind of thing like that is gonna be your chicken breast. You got spam, corned beef hash, all things like this. Over here, you got tuna fish. All these are really good to have in your shit hit the fan situation. Um, I don't even know what else to call it. Your preparation bag. If you're preparing, if you're prepping for the end of the world, if you're prepping for a strike or anything like that, prepping for the ports to be closed. If you're looking for any kind of prep for if there's no more food coming in, whatever the case may be, you're going to want to stock up on these kind of things. And tuna fish and chicken is one of the best things to stock up on. Now you could stock up on noodles and things like that, but with the current recall and noodles killing people and things like that, I wouldn't suggest stocking up on anything like that. There's always the influx of noodles and you wanna think like, okay, I'll just get some noodles and be good for the day, whatever the case may be. But with everything going on with the noodles, I wouldn't suggest it. Another thing you can stock up on is canned vegetables. I have a ton of yellow corn. I also have a ton of green beans. These are vegetables that will come in handy because like I said, if you're in a situation like that, you will not be able to get fresh fruits and vegetables. So canned vegetables are always a go-to in that type of situation. Also, if you look at them, the cans usually don't expire until the next year. So 2026, this is two years from now when these cans expire. Another thing that I have in my shit hit the fan situation, um, loadout, stock, whatever you wanna call it, is seasoning. You're gonna wanna have some kind of seasoning because you're not gonna wanna eat bland food. So I have the simple seasonings. I have like seasoning salt, I have lemon pepper. Um, as you can see, there's plenty of seasonings to choose from. But just pick one and make sure you stock up on that. They range in prices. You can get them cheaper probably at like Costco or something like that. But even things like this size right here, this is only $4.48 for pink Himalayan salt. So, you know, you never know. But stock up on seasoning. That will help you in the long run, especially when it comes to taste. You're definitely going to want to stay away from all of this. None of this. Don't put none of this in your shit hit the fan situation bag. Or any of this. Or this. Or this. And mostly because it won't last. Okay, family. So that is the end of my video. And like I said, I really just wanted to show you guys some of the things that I have for my family that we have gotten over the years, pretty much since 2020, that we have basically on standby for any type of situation. Um, like I said, like the ports closing, if there's any kind of food strike, 
if there's any kind of like food shortage or anything like that, I want you guys to see what I have and what I prepare, what I have for my family. And I hope that you guys can go out and get these items too. Now you don't have to buy these items in bulk like I showed you guys, but it helps. It helps to just have them in bulk and be ready and prepared and have supplies, month supplies of them if you, if you can. Um, I pretty much just wanted to show you guys what to get in case you don't know what to get. There's things that people, I seen people buying that will not last, like, you know, bags of chips and candy and cookies and all that kind of stuff. That stuff will last a couple days. You want to have stuff that's going to last you some months and buying rice, oatmeal, beans, things like that will last you months. If you want to buy water in bulk, you can buy water in bulk, get you some um, containers. I have 20 gallon containers. You can get you some containers, you can 20 gallons, 20 gallons of water, store your water. Um, for me, I put trace mineral drops in my water to keep my water, you know, um, to where it's not going bad. I don't know if water can go bad. But either way, guys, I just wanted to give you guys that little bit of advice because these are crazy times that we're living in. And honestly, we just don't know. So I want people to be prepared. I want you guys to know what you should be getting if you ever need it and you're ever in the situation where you're gonna need it. All right, guys, so that is the end of my video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys all in the next video, all right? Bye.